Hello everyone, it's April the 12th in the night. I'm making my fifth piano practice video.
<laughs> and that was day five practice. And yep, so that's pretty much it. We'll see you on day six. And then the song I'm going to practice is chord. I think everybody in this planet on this planet knows. You either know the song or you heard this song, not knowing the name. This song is called Fur Alice. Fur Alice for Alice by Beethoven. So you see, everybody knows. Right? So it's not very difficult. I'm going to practice for some time to see if I can pick it up. So if I can pick up for like 60-70% is good enough, I'll just put it on the video because I'm too tired. And I will need a little bit of my wine to help me. Anyways, let's take a look. Little bit, I think much weaker than before. So when I was doing this part, uh, I feel like it's like I feel a little bit, you know, when I when I do, but there are some. Like it's not strong enough or not clear enough. So this really takes a lot of practice on the fingers. And then you can run so fast with each every word, each every note very clear. So that takes a lot of practice. I don't think I can pick up in one night. I just like <laughs> I just somehow finished it with you know small mistakes here and there but somehow just like dragged on okay i think it's very late i really need to sleep i think this will be done with my fifth day video for alice from beethoven 
Für alles, German. Okay, bye everyone. Hi everyone, it's Mama here. Today is the sixth day of piano practice. We're making the piano video, musical instrument video, me and Lina. All right, so I'll pick a tempo of, let's start with 80. That was bad. Two, three, four. One and two. Finally, I have a little bit of time. So today is the sixth day. I'm kind of running out of pieces to play. So, you know, for all those classics, I was like looking through all my old Chinese <laughs> books when I was young, that's what we use. Um, I was looking through all this, try to find a piece to play, a piece that I'm familiar with I can pick it up quickly within a day because every day I want to play something like new like performing something right so but I, I couldn't find it because the classics they are either too easy no challenging I can just directly play looking at notes in the sheets or too difficult so there are some that I already practiced when I was younger but then all these years, the last 10 years, I haven't, I was not familiar with it anymore. So the comp more complicated ones. So it, it would take me more time other than just half an hour, 20 minutes to pick up anything that I haven't been practicing. So either too easy, I don't want to play. Either too complicated that it would take weeks to practice. And you know, jazz piano, I also love. But jazz piano, I never really spent time practicing when I was teens, when I, would, when I was spending the most time practicing at home. So I get to know jazz piano when I was in college. So I never really spent enough time practicing it. So I don't really have enough pieces that I can present. But I love to do it maybe in the future. And jazz piano is very difficult. It's very difficult. The, the, how to say, the, the hands need to be really wide to practice, to, to play. And each one piece will take a lot of time to practice, at least weeks or months. So then I was like, oh, what am I going to play? I don't know what to play. I don't want to just randomly do something. So I just went back to this guy. He is called Richard Claydemont. He was so popular in China in the 90s. It's like each, everybody in China know, maybe in Asia, I don't know, the whole Asia knows about he, him and his piano pieces. I think he performed all the songs and then the songs are more contemporary. 
it's not on the very classic side. So maybe it's the last 50 years or 100 years. I never researched it. I actually don't know like when those songs are composed or by who. So I think it's more contemporary. So, but he was performing all these pieces. They are very romantic. They are very like indulging, like they're really, really emotional, like and soft and then easy to digest also. It's like the pop music of piano, pop songs of piano. So that's why he was so popular in China. I don't know if he was popular in the Western world, but he was so popular in China for like decades. So anybody who practice piano will play some of his songs because it's very easy to pick up also. If you really professionally practicing piano, it's very easy to pick up his songs. It's not very difficult at all. And so I, I was familiar with his songs because it's easy and then I pick up some and they are very good to the smooth to the ears and they are very um, emotional in a way that like it's sometimes diff different from the classics that you know the classics sometimes it's not that it's not like a pop music right this is more like pop music or piano so so I would just pick up one of his songs tonight it's not difficult I would just practice I would I would just perform because I don't want to waste one two three four six seven of my days to just do some random stuff I, I want to perform something but later in the future maybe I will spend you know I will start to I should start to spend weeks of, and months of practicing some you know some piece of classics and then some difficult ones and I will really spend time to take it it's 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 difficult maybe every day some paragraphs like that and then if I conquer any song then I can make a video anytime I want um just to show you guys but for this week okay this is six day I'm going to play this song of the Richard Claydemont. Okay, let's do it then. <laughs> Actually, this is a song you can easily use to woo boys. Okay, be prepared.
it's Lena again. I don't think you can see me, but okay. I think this is better. All right. So I think this might be the last video for the week. So yeah, let's see. You know, I hope I'll continue practicing even after this week. All righty. I hope you're done with your last video, Momo. Oh wait, I need my glasses. All right, that was an emergency. I needed my glasses. My glasses. All right, we have to begin. That's it. Thanks everyone for watching. Hello everyone, it's Momo here. Today is April the 21st. I'm making a day seven video of my piano practice. And uh, let's see, first I have to finish this. Okay, let's go then. Oh man, I'm so tired and then I really ran out of time. I practiced for like several times just to get familiar with it because I almost forgot everything. But I practiced a little bit, but right now I'm just going to make this video as what it is, like a practicing piece. Like I might just stop and start again and like that. I just feel it for once and all. That's it. That's my last piece of the seventh day. Okay, let's let's start. I really want to sleep. <laughs> no, like suddenly remember that when I was young, and I sometimes really not in the mood of practicing, and I was forced so much, and then. That feeling is the worst because you know any musical instrument is difficult. It make it takes a lot of effort, and uh, I mean if people are really idle, then it's okay. But if people are really busy on other things, it's difficult it, unless you're really passionate about something. So it's like, but you know hardship is the essence of life, anyways, right? So it's okay. But today I'm just going to do once. That's it. I'm so tired. I don't know what I'm talking about. I will have no idea what I'm playing also, but it's okay. Let's see. <laughs>
what do you guys just saw is just a normal practice at an ordinary day like before you hear anybody performing anything that is perfect the person has to go through at least thousands at least maybe 500 thousands 5000 maybe 50000 times of practice like this then you can hear something perfect so this is just it's just reality you know you want to make something perfect you have to put on a lot of hours and i just because i'm so tired i just like show the reality to you guys that's in some values too right so anyways and i'm really happy that we finished seven days of piano and then polina drumming videos and this is the end of the video Nina said she didn't have enough time to make any talking but i did so much talking so that's it then okay bye everyone all right okay it's practice time again i don't know if you've already seen mama's video or not that was pretty good mama all right let's start this
to practice some sight reading exercises.